Everywhere I go, I see this as a major problem. So I want to talk about fragmentation. And I'm going to start by telling the story of my son when he was about six. It's called Elliot. And I was trying to teach him to ride a bicycle. Now we were on a playing field with lots of space and it wasn't going very well, even though I was doing my best, so was he. And what I noticed was in his hand, he had a toy that he was kind of fiddling with. He was also kind of chatting away to me about this, that and the other at the same time as trying to ride the bike. I said, Elliot, hold on. Imagine you have 10 sections in your mind. And at the moment, three of them are playing with your toy and three of them are busy talking to me. How many are left trying to help you ride the bicycle? And he rolled his eyes. He could do fairly good maths. And he said, well, four, Dad. So I said, so how many helpers would there be if you stopped playing with the toy and talking at the same time? He rolled his eyes again and said, well, obviously, Dad, there'd be all 10. So I said, well, why don't you give that a go? So slightly reluctantly, he put down the toy. He stopped talking. We discussed what he was going to try and off he went brilliantly, except for what to do once he got going. That was a whole nother part of the story. So what I'm getting at is the, the relevance of fragmentation versus the focused mind. And so often I see in business, people are constantly distracted and interrupted. And, and a little bit like when you get a computer, when it's brand new, they, they seem to work so well, but over time they get slower and slower and slower. And my understanding is they get fragmented, that when you have a nicely installed hard drive, for a start, it's got less on it, but also everything's compartmentalized the way it's loaded onto the computer. But over time, Things get open, things get used, things get closed, and they get put back in random places. And all the, the nicely loaded programs end up in lots of little bits. And, and the mind's a little bit like that. Every time you get interrupted, your mind has to go, right, what am I doing? How am I going to do it? Let me start doing it. And then you get an interruption. You have to go, hold on, let me stop that, park that for the moment. Let me open up my mind and, and say, what is it you want? How am I going to do it? Let me do it. Let me close that off. Let me put that away. Right, where was I? Okay, so what was I doing? How am I going to do it? And then you have to get back into doing it. And then there's another interruption and so it goes on. So we never have any flow and so much time is taken up with opening and closing our mind to readdress the task. So I'm a huge fan of trying to protect time from constant interruptions, particularly when we have projects, those 40 minute, hour, hour and a half tasks that really need that intense focus. Try and protect your time, try and train, you, train your team and try and change yourself to avoid constant interruptions. Don't keep checking your emails, turn them off. I'm sure even your best client can wait an hour and a half, you know, unless your core business is one minute response time. Check your intervals at emails. Get team members to respect when you're doing focus work and really try and not have a fragmented approach, but a focused approach. Avoid fragmentation of your mind.